Okay, let's talk now about the the hyperlinks, right? So this is the website. I'm just going to go up there, and before anything, I'm just going or after the headings. Let's just say that we are going to have another H1 that is going to be hyperlinks or anchor tags. It's the same stuff, anchor tags. Okay. All right. Let's save this and have another HR so we can work in this section as um, comfortable as we can. And let's make an anchor tag like that. And notice that the anchor tag is a normal tag. That's the opening and that's the closing. And this is the href that can contain internally relative paths or internally relative HTML, other HTML documents, or it can contain a URL, right? So this is the anchor tags here. And inside you write the text that you want to hold the link, right? So inside of it, let's say that I'm just going to have home, okay? So if you have the H reference, which is something that is going to be found in anchor tags and link tags, as we're going to see in the next lab, but an H reference is just an attribute that you can find in specific tags. You cannot uh, hook this uh, attribute up in any other tag, right? It's tag specific. So a bound sign means that we are going to be, every time we put this anchor tag, we are going to be transitioned into the same page that we are in. Okay, so if, if I hit uh, home and I have the H reference or the link for this website as bound sign, I'm going to be transferred to the same page again. So let me just take this and put it at the end of our page just to show you what I mean. So I have the home here and notice that the home came right next to the image so the home is an inline level element as well right it's an inline level element if we just went to the developer tools and hovered over this home and inspect element you're gonna see that the home if you stood up on this part here the anchor tag here it's taking exactly the content or the width of the content so it's not a block level element it's an inline just like the image anyways let's just go back and if i hit in home now if i hit on home notice that it has the bound sign it's gonna take you or transfer you to the same page that you're in okay what is that anyways so let's just go back and have the home right there okay and let's have another anchor tag that should come right beneath uh, right next to it since all of these are inline elements and i'm going to make another page and call it about okay how about we just take this and put it at the very first top of our page like this and have an hr okay we have an extra hr here that we know that we do not need okay i'm just going to right click on shift tab to make things um, looks good so these are the hyperlinks all right so i have home and about how about we try first of all using internal uh baths or what we call um, um internal HTML pages okay so I'm just going to maximize this and maximize the editor as well and let's open up here expand this tree and let's go to our illustration and right click on it and I want to give this index.html another brother so I'm just gonna write right click new file and make about.html so here you have another HTML file inside our root directory which is the illustration Using the autocomplete, I'm just going to say that this is our HTML tag. Inside the body, I'm just going to have this web page contain only one thing, something like about, right? That's it. Just a heading, right? So if I want to traverse to this about HTML, okay, we can either say that instead of finding in the index of HTML inside that folder, so inside the illustration, we have two files, right? Either index or about. So you want to see what the about looks like. All right, delete this and write about.html. And here you go, this is the about, right? So let's go back to the index, index dot, index one, I think we name it index one, and you have it here, okay? So going back, this is the about page, right? And I'm going to have another hr, just a line like that. Go back to the index HTML. And now we want whenever we click on about in the index page in the home page right i just want to be get transferred into about see whenever i want to click on this part i want the route here i want this route to be changed into and instead of this i want to have about 
HTML. Okay, so how can we do that? Let's go to the about anchor tag and inside the H reference, since it's notice that the relative paths that we have mentioned in our source in our images, they work the same way. This is just an operating system kind of thing. It's not an HTML specific kind of thing. Okay, so in order to find the about, if it was just as images, guys, just as we did with images, if the about HTML was in the same directory, in the same root directory as the index, which is in this case an illustration, then we can just say that, hey, index.html, you can find the about inside the same directory. So I'm just going to provide you with the file name, right? Since it is in the same directory. So if you click Control S and you went to click on about, you're going to find it's taking you to the about.html. Notice how the route has changed. Again, notice how the route here, the URL is going to be changed. So now it's referencing the, or referring to the about.html. Now one downside is that whenever you get to the about, you do not have a link to take you back to the home, right? So we can do this easily as well. I can go to the about.html and once I have the title, I can just make another anchor tag to take me back to the index.html. So once I am here, I can find the link that takes me back to the home, right? So it's the same stuff, but in reverse. In about.html, if you want to go back to index, say that uh, you can find the index.html directly because it is in the same direct directory, it's in the same folder. So index1.html. Control S and you're going to see that nothing has appeared. That's because we did not put any content. There is no content yet in our anchor tag. Like this is the opening and this is the closing. So where's the content? So let's say that this is the content. This should take you to the home page. Once you hit Control S and come back, you're going to see that this is the anchor tag. And if you click on this, notice the URL here. It's going to take you back to the index one. And if you and now we are inside index one. If we are if we are inside index one, if you and if you hit in, uh, on about, you're gonna be taken to the about this HTML, and that's it. Okay. All right. So the relative paths um, apply, meaning if I had that about with HTML inside for some reason, maybe it's inside images, like this. Notice that if you hit an about now, it's not going to find that. It's, it's, it's telling you, I, I cannot get that route. I do not find where this about.html is at, right? So now you can specifically tell the index.html that you are going to find about.html inside a folder that is called images, right? So one level deep inside images, and you're going to find the about, all right? But things are going to be corrupted as well from the about side. See, if I'm inside the about and I want to go to home now, I cannot go to home because this is assuming that the index.html is inside the images directory, is in the same place where the about is at. So whenever you hit on this part, it's gonna tell you, I cannot find an index.html inside images. So the solution is to go one level back, right? So one level back, you're gonna be finding yourself inside the parent, which is illustration. And inside illustration, now you can find the index, the HTML. So if I save this, and I went to about and clicked at home, um, let me just, uh, yeah. So this is the about, and now if I went to about and I want to go back, notice how the URL will be changed to go one level up so this is going to be neglected, right? So home, see, one level up, we're not inside images anymore, okay? But that's really making things really hard on you. So just make things or make files in the same directory. Images are the things that you need to make inside a specific folder. But for another files, for static files like, it's like HTML pages and stuff, you can just have this, um, you know, in the same in the same folder directory, in the same project folder, which is illustration or whatever, maybe lab activity, whatever the name of the folder is. So we do not need any of these because the two files are in the same parent, are in the same illustration folder. So no relative paths are needed. Okay. Now, if we refresh, go to home. That's the same thing. Go to about, go back to home, and it's working. Okay. One last thing that I want to introduce is the HTML entities, okay? So what are the HTML entities? Notice how here, 
um, th there is no spacing at all between the anchor tag and the other one. So how can we make a white space? And it's not, it's not gonna be via something like this. You cannot make white spaces and you think that you're gonna find a white space before the about. It doesn't work this way, okay? So after the home, we can make a white space using something called HTML entities, right? So we can search for this and type HTML entities. Entities, okay? So HTML entities are, if you went to, um, um, this W3 schools, you can see that an entity is basically anything wrapped between an ampersand, which is can be found on uh, number seven on your keyboard, shift and number seven. This is an ampersand, or and I'm sorry, and it's going to be enclosed by a semicolon. Sometimes some advanced entities have a hash before um, the start of the entity, so it's either starts with a ampersand or an ampersand and a hash and in both ways they always end up with a semicolon okay so the most famous one is the non-breaking space if you want to make a non-breaking space meaning that's not going to break to a new line it's just a, a, a horizontal type of space right so you can use a nbsb which is non-breaking space between the ampersand and the semicolon so we can just go there and make an ampersand shift 7 and nbsp and then semicolon right this is going to give you if we went there a small space if you notice here that's a small space if you want multiple spaces i'm just gonna grab grab this here you can make uh, a couple of uh, non-breaking white spaces like that and you're gonna see that it is reflecting here all right and this is it we can search for in the activity you're gonna see that there is a snowman that snowman is not really a symbol it was an html entity so you can say snowman html entities right so it's gonna tell you that this is the html code the html code stands for the html entity you, ha you can have a unicode for it you can have a hex code we are focused or most probably are caring about the html code which is the html entity so this Notice how this starts with a bound here. That's a little bit different. Probably numbers or numeric HTML entities will start with bound. And probably the um, uh, character-like um, HTML entities will, uh, will always start with only a bound, uh, with only an ampersand. But if it's a numeric HTML ent entity like this, it might start with an additional bound sign like that. So I'm just gonna copy this okay and show you what does this look like I'm going to put this in front of my home before the anchor tag and this is going to give you that small guy this is a very small uh, snowman I don't know if you can see this or not okay and you can use CSS to enlarge this make it bigger give it a color and stuff like that okay